great pleasure to officially welcome you to this opening night. Thank you, Arif Tuck. Actor, writer, and producer, and our mistress of ceremonies, ladies and gentlemen, Sunda Krugquist. <laughs> and cannot go out to see movies in public places. My thoughts are with them. Thank you. The man responsible for these beautiful 33 years of the Israel Film Festival. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for Meyer Fennigstein. Let him hear Sunda, thank you such for a wonderful introduction. You really know Pumi? Kind of. Good evening, my dear friends, sponsors, filmmakers, and distinguished guests. Welcome to the 33rd Israel Film Festival in Los Angeles. Thank you. I'm a little bit excited. Um, it looks like I will continue to do this for the next hundred years. <laughs> but I don't think I could. I wish, but I really would like to do. Over the next two weeks, we are excited to showcase more than 30 Israeli films, thought-provoking documentaries, popular television shows, and short films. This is the very best of Israeli filmmaking and the largest showcase of Israeli films in the United States. I started this festival in 1986 with only six films in a single theater. Tonight, you join one million people who have seen more than 1,000 Israeli films over the past three decades. Four filmmakers from Israel will be joining us for Q&A sessions to share their work during the first week of the festival. Their films will be screened in two theaters, at the Fine Art Theater in Beverly Hills and in Lemley Town Center 5 in Encino. You can learn all about them on our new website at israelfilmfestival.com. We can also buy tickets there. Tonight, we are pleased to honor two remarkable people. Artu Cohen, the winner of six Academy Awards, who will receive the 2019 IFF Lifetime Achievement Award. Thank you. His, his latest film, The Atroskin Smile, will screen at the Fine Art Theater tomorrow at 5 p.m. and Artu will be there to introduce the film. Don't miss it, please. And Sharon R.L. Cohen will receive the 2019 IFF Achievement in Film Award. She is the chair of West End Films and the producer of more than 50 films, including the one that you're about to watch tonight, Incitement. because uh, the film, the Israeli film, is very close to me. I've been here for 33 years, to started with Mayer. And secondly, 
because I'm going, going to give an honor to my friend Sharon Ariel. I know Sharon for many, many years. I'm not going to tell you how many, but uh, more than three, I think. Uh, I met her in Tel Aviv, actually, in my, my apartment. She came to, I uh, met her in, uh, on the way to the elevator. She came uh, with uh, a friend of us, a neighbor of mine, Avi Nesher, and introduced me to her, Sharon Arell. I was sure she's going to be the next movie star uh, for the movie Alaka, whatever it's called in English, I don't know. Uh, the truth. The truth? The, the next thing I started to uh, think about uh, Sharon, how I'm going to convince her to play in my movie. But soon, as soon as I started to say, so she told me very firm, I'm not an actress, I'm a, uh, going to be a producer. So that was the beginning of our relationship, producer to producer. I worked with her many, many years. I was with her when she opened her first uh, company, Capital, and then uh, another company, and she's done over 50 years, over 50 uh, movie together. And I always was admire her creative, her talent, and uh, I was admire her business uh, quality to make a movie. And uh, that's why we become uh, partner friends after so many years. Uh, <clears throat> Sharon has done a lot of movies in Israel and international and always be involved in the creative part and selling part, which is the same thing that I do. Uh, she got respect from all the community in Hollywood and in Israel for her determination her talent and her vision. On the top of her film work, Sharon is a very busy activist in working with doctor and patient in the research of cancer speciality in helping women to overcome their fight in breast cancer. Tonight, Sharon is an honor with the very deserved IFF achievement in film. Mayor, where are you? You did a good choice. Kola Kavod. Yes. You couldn't find a better seat. Before I bring her to the stage uh, and, and talk to her, I want to ask her one question that always bothered me for the last so many years. How come I'm getting older and she's becoming so young. <laughs> so, Sharon, Sharon, boy, the man, I'm done. Thank you very much for this award, which I share with my parents, my husband, and my children. Avi, thank you very much for that introduction. I am especially pleased to receive it here in Los Angeles, where I was born. I was 24 years old when I made my first movie, Halaka, co-starring our host tonight, Mayo Finishing. We had a very limited budget. Some scenes were shot in my family's home, and it was financed by my wonderful father, who wanted to make my dreams come true. Alaka and my second movie, Dizengoff 99, captured the spirit of the Israel I grew up in and became a beloved part of Israeli culture. At the time, the world of Hebrew language films was limited to one of the smallest countries in the world. Since then, a huge transformation has taken place, led by television. First came remakes of successful Israeli TV series like In Treatment and Homeland. And then the most amazing thing happened. Fauda came along in Hebrew and conquered American and other international audiences. It was 
soon followed by Stissen, Fulim, and other shows. Today, Hebrew language content is increasingly received as naturally as French, Swedish, or Italian. Who could have imagined that could ever happen? I've had the privilege of working with some of the most talented filmmakers in the world, making films for international audiences. However, the films I feel most passionate about, my real labors of love, have turned out to be my Israeli films. In filmmaking, there's an element that cannot be planned, a rare magical reaction between the creative talent the actors and the subject that captures something essential, something that touches the heart. Alaka and Dizing of 99 achieved that 40 years ago. Incitement, as you will see, does the same today and much more. I made most of my films because I wanted to work with specific filmmakers and felt the film would resonate with the audience. When it came to incitement, I was very keen to work with Yawon Zilberman, but I also felt that it was a film I absolutely had to make. The assassination of Yitzhak Rabin is Israel's deepest wound. How could a Jewish law student assassinate our prime minister? 24 years later, Intolerance, extremism, and violence have sadly become universal issues. Very rarely, a film becomes bigger than a film. I feel incitement achieves that. In Israel, it has become the film that everyone has to see, no matter their political views, and people are returning to see it again with their children. I hope you leave the cinema tonight feeling the same way. Thank you again for honoring me. I am so grateful for all you do to support Israel's filmmakers. Wonderful, the one and only Arthur Cohn. We all know Arthur Cohn, the filmmaker, the producer of 28 unforgettable films and documentaries, six of which have won the Academy Award. A man who was awarded the Order of Arts and Letters by the French Ministry of Culture and a star on Hollywood Walk of Fame. Um, I've been very fortunate to work with Arthur twice. The qualities that make him a great producer also make him a great friend. He's a, a kind, he's, he's a kind man, he's loyal, he's completely dedicated. Everything he does from the first line of the script to the last frame in the editing room is a labor of love. He will devote years of his life to making a dream come true. And when he asks you to be a part of that dream, you say yes, because he means it. Ten years ago, Arthur told me about a book he had acquired the rights to, The Etruscan Smile. There was no script at the time, but he believed in this movie, and he wanted me to do it. And he said he couldn't get Sharon Stone, but he wanted me. <laughs> um, over the years, the script came in uh, and, and brought in a wonderful creative team. Uh, the amazing actor Brian Cox and the perfect cast came in and I was the lucky one who got to see Arthur bring this beautiful story to life. Eleanor Roosevelt said that the world belongs to the person brave enough to believe in the beauty of his dreams. This makes Arthur a true citizen of the world and I'm so proud to call myself his friend. Please enjoy a few precious moments from a lifetime of 
Arthur's beloved movies. And the winner is... And the winner? And the winner is... And the winner is... And the Oscar feature-length documentary goes to... The Oscar goes to... Dear friends, first I would like to thank our lovely Rosanna Arquette for her wonderful introduction. To be introduced by such a superb, uh, outstanding, loyal, wonderful, and great actress who is extremely modest in contrast to colleagues and uh, deserves a special grace. And we all know that she wanted to give you a minimum pleasure by hearing her the introduction and by meeting her in person tonight. grateful to this special honor in the Israel Film Festival and I very much appreciate the wonderful organization and introduction and activity and enthusiasm and devotion for my effort, for my I am connected with Israel since the beginning of Israel and I connected with Zionism since my late grandfather whose name I have asked Theodor Herzl in, Paris, in Vienna to come to Basel and to make the first Zionist Congress 1897 in order to establish the state of Israel. My late father, Marcus Cohen, was the respected leader of Swiss Zionist movement before he moved to Israel, where he helped to write various important new laws for the new state, and he served as Israeli assistant to the Attorney General. With this background, it is not surprising that I have always been connected to Israel in my activities as film producer. Also, in my work as the film producer, I express many connections to the fate of Israel. Besides having produced three movies related to the Holocaust and the first was the first meaningful special effect music uh, 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 um, movie 
namely the garden of the Vinci Contini. They also, they also made the final solution and question of the of the night together with Marion Wiesel, the wife of Amy Wiesel. I'm also very proud of the film One Day in September, which deals with the murder of 11 Israeli athletes by Palestinian terrorists at the Olympic Games in Munich, 1972. My youngest film, The, the Etruscan Smile, which will be shown at the festival tomorrow afternoon, has significant Israeli input. The directors, the composer, the music supervisor, and one of the actors are all Israeli. In light of the above, I am especially grateful to receive the Life Achievement Award from the Israel Film Festival. In my career, I have always tried to create what I call European or international human cinema. Human cinema means that I produce films which follow three main guidelines. No violence, no sex, and no special effects. I personally believe that there is nothing, truly nothing, more meaningful than human films which depict real human stories, here real human relationships, because that's what life is about. There are too many films today which you forget the moment you leave the cinema. It would like to touch people with my films, to have them think about the films also being seen weeks later and a long time later and not remember, not forgotten and hopefully they will improve whom to whatever meaningful lives lie ahead in their living. I especially would like to thank Mayor Felixi. Mayor, this festival is your baby. One can feel the extreme love and devotion which you have given for it the whole year. I am impressed and I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your wonderful initiative. I would like to conclude with my parents because everything I am and everything I was able to do in the film activities is impossible without them and their guidance and their motives and their example. My parents gave me roots and they gave me wings. They gave me roots so that roots and wings is, in my opinion, the only way a meaningful life can be established. I thank you and I wish you so much.
Love Privilege, Chained Actor. Offer Naeem Mossad, Love in Suspender, Producer. Yuda Nahari, Alevi, Incitement, Actor. You're gonna see him very soon. Nama Bright, the god of the piano, actress. Tomorrow at 7.15. Anand Savion, forgiveness, director, actor. He's already here. Shaul Scherzer, Breitman, producer. Tamar Sela, incitement, producer. Adar Shafran, du squad. Forgiveness, producer. David Silver, incitement, producer. George Beller, love in suspender, director. Sharon Arel Cohen, 2019 IFF Achievement in Film Award, producer, incitement. Yaron Silverman, incitement, director. Ari Davidovich, director, Shaike K. Anybody else? So we have full the full houses. And now I would like to thank you very much for coming. Give them a round of applause. Beautiful. The largest ever. And now to introduce tonight's opening film, the director incitement, Mr. Yaron Zilberman, please. Good evening. Uh, I'm not gonna look at the teleprompter because there's nothing there that I wrote. Uh, Mayor very uh, beautifully allowed me to speak for 25 minutes. No, no, no. Actually, two minutes and I see the countdown. So I'll be very quick. First, I want to thank you very, very much for being here tonight with us. Thank you. To celebrate Israel, Israeli films. Israeli films uh, in the past 15 years, I mean, they were always great, but there was a renaissance about 15 years it started, and uh, we are all riding on that wave and enjoying that uh, success of all these Israeli movies. Uh, I want to thank Mayor, Mayor Felingstein for inviting us to open the festival. Thank you so much, and your team, your wonderful team. It's an honor, especially to present the movie in the uh, movie capital of the world, Los Angeles. Um, a few words, yeah, I have one minute and eight, seven, six seconds. So, I'll say that this movie was made out of love for Israel and for the Jewish people. It's um, a labor of that love, but we are critical, very critical, of certain events, certain people, group of people, and we believe that that kind of dialogue, that kind of criticism, will eventually, in every country, it's universal, will improve society. It's the only way for us to improve a society and as humanity, is by having that discourse. Sometimes it's a rough one, but it should all, always be a conversation so that we can get together and move forward. Um, and with, you know, with that, the message, which was uh, Rabin being this great man of peace, his main message in the last rally where he was assessed was yes to peace, no to violence. And we had yes, yes to peace and no to violence. And with that, I have zero zero over there, so I'm gonna leave it at that. I hope you're gonna find the experience of watching this film worthwhile it's not it's it's challenging but in a good way so thank you so much